Vern Kyle here. In the upcoming video, you are going to see a machine that literally changed the street building industry. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, these three-legged beasts began to appear in the Edmonton area. But before that, all curbs and sidewalks were hand-formed, every lineal meter of them. You can imagine how labor-intensive that was. I am going to talk about this process from a greater operator's point of view. I hope you enjoy the video. The slump of the concrete needs to be pretty close. Not too thick, not too thin. The conveyor belt that leads to the hopper is adjustable up and down. Gomaco is a brand name for these concrete extruders. They are made in Iowa, USA. When I was creating this video, I had a look at their website and I clicked on the about heading and found some very interesting historical photos. In this photo, I want to draw your attention to the red arrow. It is one of the three height adjustable legs. They also swivel to steer the machine. In front of the word adjustable, you can see one of the three hydraulic orbit motors that propels the Gomaco. As a greater operator, I want to talk about the blue star that I drew under the Gamaco. The blue star represents a potential trimming head that isn't there. The concrete crew has made a decision not to use the trimming head on this site. So now it is up to the grading crew to adjust this 63 mil base within a centimeter or so. If there is a high spot in the grade, that removable form that I have marked with a yellow arrow will make an unwanted scrape in the subgrade. If there is a low spot in the grade, wet concrete will squash out from underneath the form. One thing that makes this step a little easier for the grading crew is that they can measure off the string line instead of each individual station. Braden is operating the uh, Gamaco today and you can see this member of the concrete crew is going to measure off the string line just to make sure that the concrete is going in at the exact elevation and that the Gamaco is set up properly. Finished concrete. Yeah. <laughs> You guys do curbs one day and then para ramps, normally the ramps go in yeah, at the exactly. very end. First is this, then it will be the possibly that one, and then we will go on the tides. Okay. That was the voice of Haley Hall. Haley kindly uh, shot this footage for me. Here is uh, another uh, Comaco operator, uh, Kyle. And Kyle is checking off the string just to make sure that everything's on grade here. And you see, the Gamaco is in trim mode right now. It's not excluding concrete. It's just trimming this rolled mono and shaping it for the next step of concrete. You see, we deliberately left this mono berm a couple centimeters high and a few centimeters wide just to give the uh, gamaco something to trim. As the trimming head turns, 
it conveys the loose gravel over to the gutter and makes a little windrow out of it. As the title suggests, you have seen the three legs. Now here are the four fingers that follow the string line and automatically guide the gamaco on the Y and X axes. In a way, the string line is a confirmation that all the grade stations are correct and true. If there is a surveying error on the job site, the string line crew will likely find it. This nylon string is pulled tight enough to play a tune on it. And that's an idea for another video. If I was walking here a couple of years from now, I would probably be walking through someone's living room or on their lawn. The Gamaco is now in what I'm going to call concrete pouring mode. The, uh, hi James. The uh, trimming head has been removed and the concrete form has been attached. And here's just some freshly poured mono, rolled mono. There's a P-U-L, a tie-in, that heads uh, down to a trail. I want to talk about the differences between mono walk and separate side walk from a greater operator's point of view. Mono meaning poured as one, curb and sidewalk. If this was a separate sidewalk design, it would be located out where I drew this black strip on the ground, and there would be only curb on the street. There is more effort to building a mono, but when you're done, you're done, and you don't have to come back and do the walk as an extra step. Here is the concrete crew uh, sealing the freshly poured concrete. And when I Google this product, here's how they describe it. Linseed oil treatment is a blend of boiled linseed oil and solvent. When applied in a thin coating to the concrete surface, it protects from winter damage due to freeze-saw cycling and the effects of de-icing salts. Here's the crew that I normally work with and uh, they're working on tie-ends. There's the bottom of a para ramp. Normally the Gamaco can really only pour about 80 or 90 percent of the job. There's always these tie-ins left over to do, but that's for another video. Hey, Teresa, do you think I'm a good guy? She says, yes, I think so. The uh, specifications of these walks have improved a lot over the decades. And on these, there's stabilized clay on the bottom. Then there's 150 mil of compacted gravel. And then the walk. I suspect they'll last for a very long time. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, please give me a like or subscribe to my channel and we will see you next time.